Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 20. This is episode 5, season 4. Uh, got a little catching up to do. If you guys have iPhones, right? And I don't know if this is from AT&T or iPhones in general, but you know you get the little weekly report. So I average probably over 4 hours a week screen time uh, on, on my phone. Uh, this week being at home, uh, working from home and you know, uh, on the computer instead of my phone, I was down 39%, only two hours and 29 minutes a day. That's astounding. I can't tell you the last time I've been under probably four hours, uh, screen time in a given week. So, but anyway, we are back for some football manager action today. We, uh, we played a couple of friendlies. Uh, just because we ended up having uh, the new Saints game that was supposed to be right around the 14th or so got postponed. So I threw a couple of friendlies in, trying to make a little bit of money, honestly, uh, and to keep our team fit. Burry, we beat 3-1. to one. Bird, Doyle, and Maddie Catton with goals. Uh, Crusaders came in and beat us with uh, a lone goal by Brian Mullen, and we lost 1-0. Uh, then we snagged one from Jan Dudno, which I was really surprised. Phil De DeMond with the goal. And we played Owain Ifor up top. Uh, we lost Matt Turner for about five weeks uh, in the, one of the friendlies. Uh, then we played New Saints. Declan McDonald got sent off. We still only lost 2 0. So it could have been worse. Could have been worse. And then uh, Druids, we drew 2-2. They had a player sent off in the 77th minute. Uh, they got a go-ahead penalty in the 82nd minute. And we got an equalizer from Anthony Humphreys, our center back, in the 87th minute. Daniel Penrith gave us our first goal of the game. So not, not the run, you know, all in all, honestly, not a bad run through things. Right now, we are sitting in fourth position. Everybody has equalized at this point, and we are two points behind Colwyn Bay uh, for that third position for European qualifying. But we're also, what is that, nine points ahead of Newtown for seventh position, which is that dividing line uh, moving forward. So, I think we're going to be all right. Uh, last year, you know, we made the top half and we really struggled. Uh, this year, I think we'll be able to take a couple of games here uh, and be competitive, maybe pull an odd draw. And we might be able to challenge for that third spot. It's going to be a, it's going to be a job to do it, but I think we've got a shot. But anyway, we'll see. Let's take a look at today's match. We are playing Airbus UK Broughton. And we are heavy, heavy, heavy favorites. So uh, we're going to go with uh, this tactic here. Matt Turner's back. Demond up top. Oakley, Penris, Doyle. Uh, Saxton, Ackerman. McDonald's back from his red card. Do I want to try Catton in here? Let's try him. Let's put him in there. Turner is lacking match sharpness. Just, you know, he's had one game back from injury. And, you know, you're out a few weeks. I tell you what, you know, and I don't know how you guys feel about, uh, you know, of course, everything that's going on in the, in the world, in the football world in particular. Uh, I don't know what your guys' thoughts are as far as, you know, postponing the season canceling the season uh delaying the season and just finishing it whenever it is allowed to be finished um i don't think it, personally i don't think it makes sense to move to next season until this season's over and if that means that at some point we have you know do we do away with europa and, and euro cup do we do away with carabao cup um, you know, there's, there's just, I, I, I don't think next season can happen until this season is completed. And, you, you know, and what's going to be odd is, you know, like 
being an American, oh, there's a nice goal. Turner with the rebound. He gets the finish. What a recovery from his injury. Ray Doyle finds him for the assist. Matt Turner puts his eighth goal in. But, you know, I think, you know, I mean, I pay the five bucks a week per match to, to buy it from, from uh, Leeds United TV and stream the game, you know, so I can watch them. Uh, I, I pay, you know, the six bucks a month or whatever for ESPN Plus to be able to watch the matches that they televise uh, on occasion, you know. But do, does that mean that ESPN and, and LUTV owe me that money back if those games are voided and never happened? Um, you know, I certainly think, you know, they're talking about the money that they're losing as clubs, and I get that. But that means that we've lost as fans too, uh, you know, that we've spent money to the clubs that are no longer all good Good first touch by Phil DeMond, his sixth goal, and Philip Johnson adds another assist to his tally. That was a nice finish. But, um, yeah, I just I, I don't think we can move ahead until this season is fully completed. Uh, let's show some passion because they're getting complacent and frustrated and still complacent. Fair enough. Um, and you know what, even if that means, I, I think international needs to, needs to be the one champions league, you know, whatever. And here's the other thing, you know, and it's not just football athletes, you know, European and you know worldwide football athletes, but I saw, I saw a thing today. Oh, demand. What a header three nil. Um, Juventus has agreed to give up $90 million of the players and the staff to help the club out. Clubs like Juventus and Man City and the ones that sell out, you know, 70, 80,000 every game, that just shows how much they're overpaying players. Sorry, end of discussion. And then to have a situation where, and, and this is a different sport, but Major League Baseball, for example. So the they just announced day before yesterday that they, oh, Johnson gets his first goal of the season close uh, to the near post, and Wilson, his second assist of the game. Very, very nice. Tell you what, let's go back to uh, cautious, and we are going to do some time wasting. Let's do some time wasting here. I'm feeling that. Uh, they've been in meetings for weeks, and it came out that the very first thing that, that the – owners and the players unions uh agree you know talked about was one they needed to keep it quiet what they were talking about but they didn't want it to come out looking like it was about the money because they didn't want to look like they were arguing over billions of dollars which they are and did um in light of everything going on right now and the that was horrible made me lose my train of thought for a second come on somebody want to throw a body on him there goo good save knocked it off the woodwork um the big thing the players were fighting for is if the whole, if the entire season is canceled or if they can't play most of the season they still want to get credit for having Oh, that was that was poor. Um, you know what? We're gonna go back up to balanced. We'll stay on some time wasting, but uh, let's make our last sub here. Ben Oakley. Uh, we can move Ackerman up there, can't we? I think. And then we can bring Andrew Vincent on on the back side. And. Let's go ahead and give Johnson a rest. Danny Cunningham get some action. 
So, you know, but they wanted full credit to for just like if they had played the year so they could become free agents to make more money, even if they don't play. Um, and I was like, you know, those guys are just greedy bastards. I'm sorry. And, you know, but here's the other thing. So not to toot my club's horn, but Leeds United, Marcelo Bielsa, his coaching staff, all the players came out a week ago and said, hey, we're going to defer our payments to allow you to pay the staff and the people at the club that are on, you know, that are average Joes like you and me that, you know, are working for a living and living paycheck to paycheck and not making twenty and $30,000 a week, uh, more in a week than a lot of you guys are probably making in a year, um, you know. And, and, you know, they said, but what a lot of these businesses are doing is they're still charging, you know, you still got to pay your rent. What happens if you lose your job over this? The company that, you know, owns your mortgage or your rent, they haven't said, hey, we're going to cut you some slack to help out, you know. I mean, I see ads all the time, and I hate to be on a soapbox, so let's move on to the next game. But, um, yeah, they were excellent. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll vacation up to the next game so and I can talk while that's going on. So if you don't want to hear this, you can fast forward to the match. Um, but, you know, we... Oh, hello. A little bit of money. And we're going to play Cardiff Met Uni. And Demond looked really good. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to vacation up to the next game. And then I can talk uninterrupted. Um, oh, real quick. Ken Tipton, our, our club icon, uh, he's, he has approached for the second time in our series that he wants to leave the club because he needs a new challenge. Uh, put him up for transfer and loan and nobody offered for him. So he's upset. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, you know, we see all this stuff going on that, you know, hey, support your local businesses. They still need to stay open and pay there. And that's true. You know, people like you and I work at these local businesses and we want our paychecks. We don't want to lose our job. I just talked to a buddy of mine yesterday. Um, his job is laid off two thirds of their staff. He's lucky enough to be one of the one third that they're keeping. But what they're doing is they're furloughing people in shifts. So like he'll be laid off for one week with no pay and they'll keep the other half, you know, so him and one half of the remaining employees don't get paid for that week. And then the next week they bring him, they hire him back, pay him for the second week. And the group that got a paycheck the first week, they get laid off the second week. But you know who's not missing a paycheck? The owner, the management. The CEOs of these businesses, um, and you know, wouldn't it make more sense for players to give up? I mean, if every player in Europe, you know, just in the Premier League, gave up a hundred thousand dollars, not just for their clubs. I'm not even talking that. Donate that to you know to a salary relief fund and have that money go to pay people to keep them employed. People like you people like me, um, you know, because they could certainly afford to not get paid for, you know, $90,000 or, you know, $4 million a week for people that are making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. And, you know, if, if those people lose their jobs, you know, you're looking at losing your house, your car, your kids having to live on the street. You know, they're not looking at the big problem, um, you know, and I'm that, that just upsets me immensely. And, you know, but the fact that clubs like Juventus and Real Madrid are talking about the financial struggles that they're going to have. I don't want to hear that because you guys make so much money. I mean, we play football manager. We see how much money they get from being in Champions League and all that. They, there's nothing that says they have to spend all that money on players. Just, hey, we're not going to pay that much. I mean, you know, you ever wonder why, you know, every other salary in the world is, is a per year salary, but in football, it's per week. It's so you don't freak out when you see how much that is. I mean, think about that, right? <laughs> 
Uh, let's see. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, we're going to get through that. Uh, you know what? Let's just, just for shits and giggles, because I don't really pay a lot of attention to it. But let's go to the Premier League. Granted, we are 30 years in the future. Liverpool. All right, their key player, Michael Kaiser. He's making, well, there you go, $18 million a year to play you know, and uh, you know, and in sports, that's not a lot, right? Let's look at um, let's look at Chelsea, their key player, eighteen million a year. Now, what does that come out to a week? I don't know, because I don't do math. Eighteen million divided by fifty-two weeks, three hundred forty-six thousand dollars a week. How much do you make in a year? It's not three hundred forty-six thousand dollars, probably. So you mean to tell me that guy can't give up a month or two of salary to help keep his club afloat or support the the peanut and popcorn, you know, and and you know, fish and chip vendor in the stadium? I, I've never been to a European football game, so I don't know what you know. Here we have peanuts and hot dogs and and cotton candy and beer and you know not sure what they got there probably similar just you know more local local stuff anyway off the soapbox let's get to our next match bala town against oppen lido we are heavily favored at home we're gonna stick with this tactic uh Catton's gonna come in we just lost who did we just lose doyle where's doyle why is Doyle not here? Bennett is oh Bennett's out for six more weeks. Doyle got hurt. Flu. So he's out for four days. Nobody else there is a big issue. All right. Well, that's what we're gonna go with. Oh, you know what? I want I'm gonna bench him. I'm gonna bring Crown on. I want to give Crown some playing time. And, uh, hey, happy birthday to Kelly Mulliken, a friend of mine. Oh, by the way, I have not done this in a little while. Let me real quick jump into my phone. Uh, Shamali 2011, welcome to the channel. Uh, if that's when you were born, that makes you nine years old. My kids are older than that. I feel really old now. Uh, new subscriber, GM Games, welcome to the channel. Uh, let's see. I know I've lost some subscribers lately, quite a few, about 10, I think, but that's all right. That happens. Everything comes and goes. So yeah, that looks like the two, two new subscribers in the last, last week or so. So welcome to the channel. Much appreciated. And let's get back to some football action. Jeez, RC, you're getting all depressing on us here. Talking about real life and shit. Well, oh, we've got some snow on the pitch. Either that or it's some real low-lying fog. I don't recall playing a match in the snow yet. Interesting. All right, let's get creative. Oh, heavy snow coming down. All right, we're in the white. Oh, good steal. Penrith is there, plays it up. DeMond came back for it. All right, back to the keeper. Wong Chun Kwok builds from the back. Maybe. At some point, you know he's just going to lump it. He's going to be like, screw this. All right, there's the ball. Wilson, Bird. Bird with his, his patented header. Oh, he cuts inside of his man. Good shot. On target, at least. Anyway, if you guys have thoughts about all that stuff, feel free to chime in. I'd be interested to hear what, you know, other people, you know, am I, am I way off base? Oh, that was bad. Uh, first, it's all the first goal of the season. And I'm not the only one. I think this is something in Football Manager because... I can't tell you, you know, how many videos I watch 
and you know somebody's giving up a first goal of the season in the, in in an episode uh, a bruised knee well we're gonna we're gonna keep him on there all right we are uh all right I'm gonna drop back to cautious here. be a little more cautious that was bad I th now you see we've lost Bennett which is our main defensive midfielder can we get creative here buddy just possibly Oh, he's wide open in space. He wasn't offsides, no? No. Shit. All right. Um, all right, we're going to go back to this tactic. Penrith for Catton here. And we'll bring Bellamy on the pitch in that defensive mid spot. I just think we need to readjust. This snow is throwing our game off, I think. All right, Humphreys, Wilson. There's the ball. DeMond. Oh, and he just slides it past the keeper. Wilson with another assist. DeMond, his eighth of the season. And we are back in this. Uh, we're going to ask him to show some passion, fire him up a little bit. If Wilson's getting assist while he's anxious, he can keep being anxious. Keep going. All right, I think I think we're coming together. They've got three out of six shots on target, but they've scored twice. Yes, you're disappointing. Watch for the yellow. All right, we lose the ball there. Spread. Uh, and he gives it up again. He beats the def Oh my God. <laughs> he just punts that one up in the stands. Uh, tighten up. All right, Humphreys heads that one out. Spread controls for Offenlido. Looks like a foul there. Pretty tough, pretty big one. Pretty hard foul. That's a dangerous spot for a set piece. I don't think there was a penalty. Yes, there was a penalty. Mother. Oh, it was on them. Thank God. I was about to be livid. All right, Wilson. Can't find anybody. Demand more. All right. Uh, we got a lot of yellow cards today. Bird is dragging. Turner, potential groin injury, but he's still on the bench. We're going to bring I-4 in for Bird. Come on. All right, Bellamy into the box. There's a header. Andy Humphreys, our center back, his second goal of the season. And that is a big equalizer. We're going to give him some praise off of that. They're overwhelmed. All right, let's bring on one more sub. Cole Saxton is overwhelmed. I'm going to bring on Declan. Try to solidify that back line a little bit. Oh, cleared out. Declan controls it. Humphreys. Oh, that a spread's going to be sent off there. Yep. Oh, a straight red, huh? And we aren't even going to see another highlight after that. I think we got jobbed here, boys. I think we got jobbed, but we did do a good job coming back. You know what? I'm going to be assertive. I think they did do a good job to come back. So I'm not going to jump their shit on that one.
All right, so that keeps us in fourth position. Catton's out for a day with his knee. That could be worse. And I think that's going to be the episode for us here, fellas. So we got a win and a draw. Uh, so we are going to move to the fourth round of the cup. And we'll play Cardiff Met Uni. I tell you what, next episode we will do a cup, a cup series. We'll do Yandudno and Cardiff. We'll play Newtown off camera. Unless the matches go quick, and then we may do a triple header. We'll just see. But at least we'll do the two cup matches. I think that'll be the way to go. And we'll also see where we're going to finish. We've got four matches left in this first half. And we are nine points up with 12 points to play for. So basically a win by us and a loss at Newtown at any point is seals the deal. Because I don't think Druids can catch us. Well, they're 10 points. No, they're 11 points. So a win, even if they win, we're still 11 with nine. So... All right, guys, well, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we will see you for the Cups uh, next episode. Have a good one. Bye.